Okay, so that's uh, that start. Then what you'll notice is that it has this plus button on the piece of paper icon to create a new page. So anything that's really important for this class, you're going to create a new page. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a new page. Now your assignment that is going to be due is the Know Your Learners. Know Your Learners lesson plan. So this is a, a major assignment that we have. So anything that is an actual assignment, something kind of bigger than just an activity that we do during class, you will want to create a page that looks really nice for this. Um, you'll notice by default that it creates a web page, which is what you want to do most of the time. You'll notice if I click on that, I do have other options. In this case, I'm going to do a web page. Down here on select a location, it says put it at the top level. That's what you want almost all the time. You don't want to change that default. When you're putting something under, the way I use that is like I'm teaching algebra and I'm teaching geometry and I'm teaching algebra 2. So I'll create an algebra page, a geometry page, and an algebra 2 page for my class website. Then under the algebra page, I would want the algebra calendar. And under the algebra page, I would like the algebra syllabus. And under the algebra page, I'd like the algebra announcements. And then geometry, under the geometry page, I'd put the geometry calendar, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's just a way to make a sub page, uh, which you will do sometimes, but not today. So just go ahead and put page at the top level and leave that setting and then you're going to click create. Now you don't need to do anything with this. Leave this blank for now. We'll add to it later. You will embed your Google Doc here that we will do that later. You will write the reflection about the lesson plan, but you will do that later. Okay, so um, you don't need to put anything in there. Let's just go ahead and leave that blank. And so then we're going to hit the Save button. So now I have a page on my digital portfolio. So that's getting us started. You'll notice that it does automatically um, populate over here uh, the pages that you create.